22 Best Things About Western New York, a town hall special, starts now. I'm Michael Wooten. We're glad you're here with us. Happy Tuesday. It's 2 22 and it truly is historic because this isn't going to happen for another 400 years in the year 2422. So here at Channel 2, we're calling it Channel 2 Day. Last half hour, we've been telling you about some of the biggest stories in Western New York history. We kind of did a countdown. We're now going to take a little bit of break from all the serious stuff and discuss just how incredible our community is. Here to help us with that are two well-known and beloved Buffalonians, our radio friends, Nicholas Piccolis, longtime morning show radio host at KISS 98.5, and Adriana Viverette, better known as Adri V. She is a radio host with 97, 93.7 WBLK. We'll check in with both you guys in just a moment, maybe be taking some notes because we want your thoughts on all of this. We know that February can be a dreary time of year. It maybe has some people wondering, why do I live here with the snow and the cold? Well, we're here to remind you. We asked you to vote in our poll about the best things about living in Western New York. More than a thousand of you participated. You were asked to choose five for more than a, a list of more than 50 items. Without further ado, we want to get into the 22 best things about Western New York, and our Kate Wellchauffeur kicks things off. Number 22. I have the great distinction of presenting to you the item at the very bottom of this list of favorites. You told us by your votes that Western New York history is important to you. Maybe not as important as all that other 20-something stuff on the list, but important nonetheless. And oh, the stories we can tell. Of course, a lot of people like to tell the story about how a president of the United States was assassinated here in Buffalo, but still, that was just one time. Suffice to say that Western New York and its history is anything but boring. And just being on this list shows how much we value the contributions and the tribulations and the spirit of the people that made Buffalo and the surrounding communities what they are. With all that history, you just wonder, why don't we have a bigger history museum? And coming in at number 21 is Buffalo's vibrant theater community. And for many people, it includes this beautiful venue, Shays Performing Arts Center. They have been hosting touring Broadway shows for decades. But Buffalo's theater scene is really over two dozen professional theater companies. From the Irish Classical to Alleyway, Road Less Traveled, Buffalo United Artists, Paul Robeson Theater, just to name a few. There is so much diversity in style and specialty, and they contribute immeasurably to Buffalo's artistic wealth. At number 20, it's our villages. I'm here in Elmwood Village, but of course there's also East Aurora, Williamsville, Medina, Kenmore, so many villages that make up Western New York, and they're all unique in their own right. It's all part of what makes Western New York so special. One of the things I like about living here in Western New York is the fact that uh, we've got interesting neighbors right on our doorstep, so to speak. Yeah, right across the river, whatever you want to say. It has been difficult with the pandemic for us to get up and visit them and for them to come down here and visit with us. But we're hoping that that's eventually going to change and we'll be able to see our good friends up north once again. I know I'm looking forward to getting back up to Toronto and Fort Erie and Niagara-on-the-Lake and up to Quebec. And also, I'll say this on a personal note, I am part Canadian. I found out that my grandmother was actually born in Nova Scotia. So I will turn north and salute as well. Number 18 on our list are local and state parks. From the quaint and versatile Delaware Park in Hoyt Lake to the magnificent and iconic Niagara Falls. We love our state parks and local parks year round here in Western New York. Coming in at number 17 is, well, the booze. There are so many great distilleries, breweries, and wineries here in Western New York, and there's one in every single town, every single neighborhood, and there's really something for everyone. We're at Big Ditch Brewing Company in downtown Buffalo, checking out the Red Galaxy IPA. At number 16, the Erie County Fair. Organizers call it the 12 best days of summer, and for good reason. There's a little something for everyone. 
food, fun, rides, exhibits, concerts, even their own fair beer. And they get a huge crowd each and every year. Nearly a million people make their way through the gates. This year, the 182nd Erie County Fair runs August 10th through the 21st. Coming in at number 15 of the 22 reasons why you, the viewers, love about Western New York, of course, the architecture. You walk through Buffalo, you can't look down, you've got to look up. And you see the beautiful Art Deco buildings downtown, the Victorian homes of Allentown, and of course, the beautiful buildings that Frank Lloyd Wright built right here in Western New York. There's so much to enjoy. Canal Side comes in at number 14. Five years ago when we did this, it was number one. In 2017, it was still brand new and growing. Now it feels like it's been here forever. It's still the heart of downtown Buffalo's waterfront revitalization and one of the great things about living in Western New York. Number 13 on your list of the best 22 things about Western New York is me. Thank you so much. For... Okay, I'm being told you went with family attractions. That's a good call. From Leshworth to the lakes, from the forest to the falls, so many outdoor and indoor things to do. Lots of museums and activity centers. Listen, I've made a long, mediocre career out of showing all the things to view and do in Western New York. So, holding city at number 13 this week on the countdown, family attractions. Kevin said he was doing his best Casey Kasem impersonation there at the end. Uh, all right, let's get to your reaction to this. I, I'm just going to say off the top, I was shocked that um, beer, wine, and liquor was as low on the list as it was. I expected that to make it to the top five. But Vivrette, what do you think? I thought it was going to be number one for sure, <laughs> um, especially because Buffalo here, we love a good beer. So I'm definitely shocked as well. What did you think uh, overall? Any surprises or anything that stood out to you? Um, I think that the the surprising factor was the celebration, of course, when it comes to our Juneteenth festival or even just our different um, events that we attend in the summer. I thought that would probably definitely be at the top as well. So I'm a little shocked that it's a little lower than what it was. Yeah. Uh, Nick, what do you think? Uh, I think the list is, is so far kind of perfect. There's a lot of stuff that I love about the area. I just don't know how there's more than one thing than pizza on the list because that really... <laughs> You can just do this list with one thing. If you had to do two people and pizza for yeah. Western New York, two things that make this area really special. But I think so far we're off to a, a pretty good start. And all those things that we've seen so far, I love all of them, uh, especially Niagara Falls. I love going there. If, you, if you're ever through there, I usually go rolling through on my Schwinn a couple times a day okay. in the summer. So that's, that's part of one of my little places I like to explore. Okay. Uh, and both of the things that you guys brought up um, are our summer festivals, which Maria Gennaro over my shoulder here, that's what she did. Uh, summer festivals and pizza are both higher, so they're going to be later on in the show. Okay. So both of those things are coming up. Um, I also was surprised that Kevin O'Neill did not make the list. Um, it was yeah, family. That shocked Weird. me. He's my yeah. fave. Yeah, it was you know? family attractions. Uh, uh, we do have a lot of family attractions around here, though. You know, you think of the aquarium and, mm -hmm. you know, all the stuff that's popped up. So we're very fortunate. Uh, we have a lot more to discuss. Again, that was 22 through 13. So we still have 12 more to go, right, of the top best things about Western New York. We'll continue the conversation. And welcome back, everybody. The countdown continues as we reveal the 22 best things about Western New York. There is no better place to be in the summer than right here in Buffalo. You voted and you love our festivals in the summer. Came in 12th on our list from the Italian Festival, of course, to Taste of Buffalo, the Juneteenth Festival, the Allentown Art Festival. You love them all. And why wouldn't you? Summertime in Buffalo? It is absolutely the best. Number 11 on the list of best things about Western New York is that we live on the Great Lakes. And whether you're a boater, a kayaker, someone who enjoys the state parks right along the lake, or if you like taking a dip during the winter into the frigid lake for a good cause, it is always there for us to enjoy. And if someone from Storm Team 2 is going to do this story, we can't forget the Great Lakes impact on our weather. In the summer, it serves as a natural air conditioner and in the winter, it brings in that signature lake effect snow and whether you love it or hate it, it is uniquely Western New York. Coming in at number 10 on our list of the best things about living in Buffalo and Western New York is we are the city of good neighbors. And you know what? We live up to that reputation because really nice people live here. Whether it's pushing a stranded driver out of the snow or throwing all sorts of charity events, you are here to help. And if you need something, you know someone's got your back too because we are the city of good neighbors. 
Here is number nine, America's largest waterfall. It's actually my first time here at Niagara Falls. Now, there's actually three waterfalls here. The American Waterfalls, the Bright Oak Bell Waterfalls, and the Horseshoe Falls that's right here behind me. Now, if you're anything like me and you like drinking water, 20% of the drinking water in this country actually comes from this waterfall. One of the other things is you might think that this is one of the seven wonders. It's not, unfortunately, but I can see why people would think so. All right, number eight on this list. You said you love the low cost of living here in Western New York. Who doesn't, right? Now, while home prices have never been higher locally, they still are nothing compared to places like Boston, D.C., San Francisco, even Chicago, Illinois. But you certainly need to watch out for those taxes. And coming in at lucky number seven is Bills Mafia, the philanthropic fan base for the Buffalo Bills that we all love and is first in our hearts, only 28 weeks until kickoff. You knew this was coming. At number six is pizza. I have no idea how this didn't make it to number two. But you know, I understand that there's a lot of great things about Buffalo, so it is what it is. We could all get into a long and very heated debate, I'm sure. I just did with my photographer, Ryan, about who's got the best pizza in town, but we don't have time for that, so let's just stick with this. Buffalo has some of the best pizza in the country. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. I only waited 26 years for Buffalo pizza. <laughs> 26 years is a long time to wait. All right, Nick, we'll go to you first because you, you were shocked that pizza hadn't made the list. There it is, number six. Here's the thing with pizza. It's not how good it tastes. It's the debate that goes around it because I've never met pizza I didn't love. The best pizza is the one that's right in front of you. So everyone's got an opinion about it. Uh, are we cutting it in triangles? Are we doing squares? Do you, if you do the squares, do you want an edge piece? Like there's so much discussion that has. And then you could talk 20 minutes just about the dough. Someone will chime in about, oh, it's the water that goes in the dough. Mm -mm. Pizza's good, should be number one on this list. This is the one problem I have with your list, Michael. There it goes. All right, so I, I'm gonna tell you this. I was surprised when I moved to Buffalo, I was afraid that everything here was gonna be New York style pizza with the crust. Mm -mm. that you can't tear your mouth through, you know? Mm -mm. So I was happy about that, Vibrette. <laughs> Listen, one thing I love about our pizza, I'm a corner side girl. When I say corner side, it's Leonardi's pizza, and I'm so sad that <laughs> they're gone because that side, me, my mom, my sister, we will fight over it all the time. And of course, being a Bills Mafia fan, all I can say is you're born into being a part of the Bills Mafia. It's not something you decide later on. It's something you're born into because growing up, everybody in my family for every game put their jersey on, cheer for the Bills, loud as I don't know what, my mom screams at the top of her lungs every time like she's <laughs> in the building. And all I can say is you're born in. You can't join in, you're born in. And you know what's interesting? When we did this list five years ago, and we'll do some comparisons later on, uh, Bills Mafia wasn't in the list. But if you remember five years ago, that was before we made the playoffs four mm -hmm. out of five years. So everything yep. is relative, right? Yeah. So we'll talk more about the Bills. The Bills are uh, on the list once again. I'll put that little bit of a teaser out there. So mm. we'll talk about that mm. coming up in a bit. All right, thanks for staying with us, everybody. We've been counting down the 22 best things about Western New York, and this isn't just something we kind of pulled out of thin air. This is based on your votes. We had an online poll last week. Uh, we kind of chose 50 things or so, and we gave you five votes each and asked you to pick what are the best things in Western New York. And we realized when we heard from some of you that we left a few things off of the list, and some of them were actually pretty good. Like, where else can you stay out at a bar so late then grab a chicken finger sub before calling an Uber at four in the morning. Yeah, it's one of those things. Also, the smell of Cheerios is pretty synonymous with Western New York. Baked fresh at the General Mills plant along the Buffalo River. Some people said they love that. And yeah, not surprised to see this one. We didn't put Josh Allen specifically on the list, you know, for this. And a lot of people were like, yeah, I love the Bills. Yes, I love Bills Mafia, but I want to vote just for Josh Allen. So guess we should have made that an option. Well, we have now made it to the top five. These are the best things about living to w in Western New York, according to you. Again, more than 1,200 of you voting online. You could choose five from our list of more than 50, and almost 2,000 votes went to these top choices. We kick off the top five now with our Lauren Hall. Coming in at number five on our list are amazing local restaurants. From food trucks to fine dining and everything in between, Western New York is full of hot spots and hidden gems from the North Towns all the way down to the Southern Tier. Serving up specialties from a wide variety of cuisines with that signature Buffalo service, our culinary scene is something locals and tourists continue to celebrate every single day. 
Well, McKinley here, and coming in at number four, why? The Four Seasons. It's one of the things you told us you love most about living here in Western New York. We've got winter, spring, summer, and fall. We've got them all. Although one of those seasons tends to last a lot longer than others. Sometimes we get two seasons at once. Like last week when I stood out here to record this, seems like we had winter and spring at the same time. Ice all around, rain coming down. The Four Seasons though, we love them. Even without Frankie Valley. This thing on. And the number three thing that you voted on was that in Western New York, it is easy to get around. I think we all know that you can get pretty much anywhere in Buffalo in 20 minutes or less. But wait, if it's so easy to get around, why am I still late for everything? Anyway, and even in the winter when the snow is falling, we can handle it. We can still get anywhere in Western New York really, really fast. Kelly Dudzik in Allentown at Gabriel's Gate, where you can get some of the best wings in the city. And coming in at number two, all of the food that makes Buffalo so unique really should be number one, in my opinion. But hey, number two, we're talking about Loganberry, the wings, the beef on weck, and all of the delicious fish fries. You mean the number one thing isn't the weather? <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, the Buffalo Bills have been at or near the top of this list for a long, long time. We all know that. And you consider in recent years, four playoff appearances in the last five years, they have one of the best young quarterbacks in the National Football League. They're already among the favorites at the top of the list to compete for and perhaps win the Super Bowl next year. But I think really this ranking goes beyond just the X's and O's. The Buffalo Bills, this franchise, is so intricately woven into the cultural fabric of this community. And it all adds up to a number one ranking among so many things that make Western New York great. All right, guys, we have about a minute left. Uh, Viveret, your Buffalo Bills, number one. What do you think? A absolutely. I mean, wh where else would it be coming in at number one? All I can say is you got to be born in. Shout out to my mom. I know you're probably screaming always. <laughs> <laughs> they were number five. Uh, the last time we did this five years ago. So the Bills have jumped uh, five spots. The uh, the Buffalo Sabres, Nick, um, not uh, not in the 20s. That's weird. As you know, I, I play for the Bills. I should say I play, <laughs> mu I play music for the Bills. Okay. I play music for the Bills. So uh, being at the stadium, having fun there, you really see it and you see it in the eyes of the fans, but most specifically the kids walking into that stadium for the first time and just soaking it all up. So I'm not surprised Bills at number one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's a great time to be a Bills fan uh, as we as we are in the off season and we're all kind of wondering what is this to do on Sundays now without Bills games. What right? is there to do? Uh, thank you guys so much for coming in and, and uh, helping us through this and getting your perspective on it. Thank you everybody for joining us as well for this special edition of the Town Hall. It is our 2-22-22 Tuesday coverage.